This is James, Clear Out Color Director, and today we're going to learn to get head-turning highlights. Who doesn't want head-turning highlights at home? Here's what you're going to need for this look. One nice and easy hair painting kit, four hair clips, a roll of plastic wrap, cotton balls, towels, paper towels, a comb, a headband. Now, let's get started. Mix the hair color according to the package directions. If your hair is long enough, I want you to put it up in a headband. You want all the hair pushed away from your face. Next, using the tip of your tail comb, draw a small V into your hairline. Now, I'm gonna let you in on a little insider secret. Keep a spatula with you. This is going to act as your artist's palette. You're going to dip your brush into the lightener mixture and apply it to the spatula first. You do not want to apply it directly onto your hair. When painting the highlights, keep the hair at a 90 degree angle and keep it taut. You're going to hold the brush like you would a pencil. Lightly sweep the section closest to the scalp. When we get a little further down the hair strand, you can lay your hair on top of the spatula to get to the ends. Now, really important, don't let that hair drop. Pick up a piece of cotton as you're holding that hair and place it underneath the hair strand. Let this section gently rest on top of the cotton, rip off a piece of plastic wrap, and gently lay on top of the painted sections. The plastic will act as a barrier, but it will also keep the heat from your scalp, which will assist in the lightening process. We're going to pull out another section about two to three inches wide. You want to have some space in between the highlights. Now, repeat the process that you just did for each section. After about 10 minutes, check the progress of your highlights, examine the strand, and look at the color. Does it look like it's changing the desired lightness? If not, that's okay. Just let it sit for about another 10 minutes. If you're unsure, you can wipe a test strand with a paper towel and check the shade. If you feel the hair has not reached the desired lightness, then just reapply the lightening mixture to the same strand and continue checking about every five to 10 minutes. But whatever you do, do not exceed more than 90 minutes. Once you've accomplished this, you're going to thoroughly rinse the highlighting mixture from your hair until the water runs clear. Shampoo, condition, and rinse. Now, most of the time with lightening hair, it lifts, but it does not give you the desired tone that you are looking for. If this is the case, don't get nervous if it's not exactly how you imagined. Now, here's the insider's tip for an exciting use for natural instincts. You can use it like a salon gloss. Apply it to towel dried hair to tone your hair in only 10 minutes. And with this trick, you can achieve so many great shades. You can do a lighter copper on a deeper red base. You can achieve mocha on top of a rich brown base. That's it. It's that simple, that easy. You're the artist, and now I'm teaching you how to paint. Check out these other videos for more easy home coloring tips from Clairol. If you like this video, then please hit the thumbs up.